This is Feature Miner. So Dabu7 recently uploaded a video and he was analyzing some sun footage and he noticed a mysterious object that looks like it's feeding on the sun. And so he noticed that this was the exact same object that he caught 10 years ago in 2012, I believe it was, where in his original video in 2012, he noticed this mysterious object that was feeding on the sun. That's how he's analyzing it. It's this object that is not really explainable near the sun. And then he was analyzing sun footage again recently. And this was in 2022, just like a week ago or something. And he noticed the exact same object. And he's saying this is probably something to um, look more into. Well, he obviously has not been informed that I actually broke the information about sun footage. And I will leave a link in the comment section and the description box where you can see the NASA conference when the sun footage started really coming out. And they explained to the audience how the sun footage is actually animation. You see, people have been analyzing the sun footage. I think even Paul Begley might do this as well. And I know Freeman Fly was doing this before he started realizing what um, that the that the footage is not real, because they themselves will admit it. NASA actually admits it. So this isn't something where, you know, because Dabu Seven and Woodward and um. When um, mud fossils, they get upset with their audience when the audience tries to tell them this stuff. They think it's just the audience coming up with weird, you know, conspiracy stuff when they're saying that the footage is not real. They think it's just the audience saying that. They don't understand it's actually NASA saying this stuff. We're not making this stuff up. It's literally NASA saying this stuff. That's why I'm going to leave the link. And so I'm going to get this link to Dabu7 so he can see for himself. That NASA will explain to you and everyone else that the sun footage is not real. They also say the same thing about Earth pictures. I just released a video a couple weeks ago where I went over again how Earth pictures are actually, well, let's call them images. That's the actual proper term because they're not pictures. They're actually images. Same thing with this new James Webb thing that mud fossils were breaking down just the other day. He was breaking down all the images from the Webb telescope. And he doesn't understand that NASA admits they um, animate these uh, images. So back to the sun, though, that's the main thing, because this is what um, I think woke up Freeman Flock. Because I knew Freeman Fly had, he always had the sun footage on his website. He was analyzing it every day. And then I actually sat through this boring speech from NASA. And I came across this information that nobody else was covering. This was back when FE just kind of came out. And I was, I was sitting through this long conference speech. And I found where I think they call it the SDO or something instruments where they're claiming that they're filming the sun. Well, I sat through that entire speech and I came across this important information where NASA themselves, the guy who invented the technology was explaining, yes, yeah, just animation. He broke it down just like how Robert Simmons explains how earth pictures are animation. I actually uncovered where they're talking about how the sun footage is animation as well. So I think that's what woke up Freeman Fly. I'm not sure, but that's probably one of the things because I know he was a big enthusiast about this sun footage. That was a big deal to him. It was like one of his main things. He is daily analyzing the sun footage because it looks like it's ac the actual sun. The way they have that, you know, the sun rays and they have like, you can see it. It's like the way they present the sun footage if no one tells you that this is not real, or if you don't have the link to this video that I'm going to share with you in the comment section in the description box where NASA tells you themselves that the footage isn't real, it looks like they really have footage of the sun where, you know, you can see the wavy um, solar flares and all this uh, stuff coming off the sun. But yeah, it turns out 
that's all animation. Every last bit of it is animation. So I break it down for sure, like to where you can't even argue anymore. It's like, so really Dabu 7 and um, Mud Fossils, you know, they really, they really think it's just the audience telling them this stuff. They don't believe them. <laughs> They're saying, <laughs> they think you guys are just making this stuff up. They literally think you guys are making this stuff up when you're on, on the channel. They will remove your comments. They will, they get so upset when you bring this stuff up. They think you're just pulling this stuff out of thin air. Because they don't know about NASA's Robert Simmons and they don't know about this guy. We need to figure out this guy's name. I might have to uh, relook at this stuff and really get this guy's name fam famous too, like Robert Simmons. Because Robert, Robert Simmons admits that he makes Earth pictures. Well, images. Let's call them images. I have to keep remembering that. We have to call them images because they're not pictures. Okay, but um, just like that's a familiar name for most people. So when people talk about Earth pictures, we have to always remember just look up Robert Simmons and, and figure out how he's explaining to you how he's generating Earth images through computer software. So now we got to really figure out this new guy's name. Um, well, the sun guy, the sun guy who makes the sun animation. He has the, the software makes sun animation out of supposedly data or whatever, but it's animation. He admits it. So we got to get this guy's name famous too, I guess, because people like Dabu7 will think we're just making stuff up and they'll just ignore everything we're saying and sit there and analyze animation. They'll sit there and analyze animation and sit there for I'm, I'm sure he just sits there for hours analyzing this sun footage thinking he's looking at the actual sun wait till he sees this video so somebody get that video to him because it's very difficult to reach these guys because they just reject all this type of information so but if if somebody can get this um information to him and email him that look the link's gonna be in the comment section in the description box fine go to the video it's um the sun is not what you're told or something I, whatever the title of the video is go to that actual video and somehow get that video to him and where he can see nasa themselves explain how the sun footage is made and it's all animation so there's no need to sit there and analyze little objects that you say match up from 10 years ago because it probably is the same footage you're reviewing over and over so that also brings in the question about solar flares and stuff like that is like what really is that st that information is there anything even to that stuff probably not you know when they try it's just another fear thing they like to say, oh, the sun's going to burst the solar flare off. And, you know, it's like, or they talk about the ozone and all all this other stuff with the sun. It's like, yo, the, I don't think the sun's doing anything to us. It's just there. It's it's always been there. It, it, it provides light for us. We don't need to fear it. We don't need to fear the sun. Okay. And then with mud fossils, he recently just uploaded a video analyzing the web um, images. He doesn't know that's um, animation. He doesn't know that's like that they admit because I have to redo the video that I had out. I never put it back up. This is when I was um, when I first started. I had a video where I found the NASA people explaining how all images from outer space are um, they they add to it with CGI and animation and stuff and they're not actual pictures they're, they're they're images they're actually just images that they generate with their cgi and their computers so i'll have to redo that video we'll have to get that one back out because i haven't had it out in a long time and you can't argue with this stuff anymore you know because like i said a lot of these truthers they think we're just making stuff up so we gotta have we gotta get to them where the person themselves is, is explaining that these are not real pictures they're actually images uh, that they're generating so basically CGI and I think 
um, YouTube now lets you make clips and stuff, so you can just grab like the parts, the important parts where if if you want to click on that sun video that I'm gonna leave the, the the link for, and you find where you can find where the um, NASA guy is explaining, cause cause I have that part in there where the NASA guy is explaining how the sun footage is uh, made in the on, on a computer and it's not real, so. You can just grab that clip and learn how to just grab those clips out and make sure he just sees the exact part he needs to see. And Dabu 7 would never, again, sit there and question you guys and, and act like you're just making stuff up because it's directly from NASA. And somebody has to get to um, Mud Fossils too. And if, if you got to email him or whatever, figure out how to contact him with the real information from directly from NASA so they can no longer sit there and just laugh at you and think that you're just coming up with stuff making stuff up all right so links in the comment section i'll probably leave a link to so you can see um dabu 7 analyze this some footage the thing about on uh, the dabu 7 video is he removed the comments so people must have really been getting at him in the comment section people must have been explaining to him that this is um computer animation the sun footage I, I get because why else would he make the comments to um, turn the comments off? Why else? I'm, I'm surprised he didn't remove the video. When I made my first video about mud fossils, he removed that video. When when he was um, because he he was he he was raging with anger on flat earthers. In in one of his videos, and and um and i made a video about that and it said i didn't appreciate that how you know his tone and then he removed that video so i guess it's, people are reaching these guys people might be able to wake these guys up just like freeman fly it looked like he he was very stubborn about all this information and from what i know freeman fly it looks like he woke up from 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 what i um I had I had a couple videos about it on my Feed Your Mind Three channel, where he was talking with DITRH, and in that video it sounds like he finally is on board. Although he didn't like absolutely one hundred percent confirm it, there was some things he was saying where he was pretty much confirming it. So you can wake these people up, no matter how stubborn they are. You can wake them up. You guys are being effective. You're obviously being effective because. Dabu7 removed his comments and uh, Mud Fossils removed his video where he was talking down on, on F, the FE community. So people can reach, you can reach these guys no matter how stubborn they are. And eventually they'll probably see, oh, wow, you guys were right. NASA, you know, NASA is admitting that the stuff we thought was real is actually not real. So what does that leave? And then when when they when they finally realize the Earth images are not real, that's when they really will wake up. Because I know that was the like one of the number one things that woke me up was when I confirmed for myself. I looked into it and saw all the small print next to the Earth images that the official Earth images from NASA. I saw the so I saw the small print. I finally realized that you know as one thing hearing it from you know somebody but then when you look into it and see it for yourself that the images aren't real that's when you really wake up that, that well that's when i really like i was already woke because i i believed who i was i think it was mark Sargent or something somebody was was saying that oh the images aren't real i, I believed it and everything but when i when i really looked into it and confirmed it for myself it was even more of an awakening you know when when i already thought i was awoke I saw it for myself and I was even more awake at that point. So look, links in the comment section. I'll probably leave the links to the videos, like I said, so you can see Dabu 7 and um, Mud Fossils analyze these uh, CGI images as if they're real. And then I'm going to leave the, the main link, though, I want you to find is going to be where the sun data is explained and how they generate the images. So um that's about it for today i'm also going to leave links if you um want to sign up to my free email newsletters or find me on my social media or my other channels um i'm also going to leave links if you want to support this channel 
um, you can donate as little as one dollar, and you're helping get get my new documentary style videos out. So I appreciate that. I actually have a documentary style video waiting to come out if we just get two new Patreons. So, um. All links are in the comment section and description box. Thanks for tuning in. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. This has been Feed Your Mind signing off.